Good afternoon and welcome, welcome to the video from a windy and surprisingly wet Ireland. Well, it's always quite, quite wet, but in between the showers we can try and get something, something done. Today we're here to look at my Mercedes SL uh, R1, R129. It's a 300 model um, with the with not a panoramic sort of, but a hard top and electric folding soft soft top. I bought this car. Uh, recently, uh, I think it was about two and a half months ago, and I believe it's one of the cheapest uh, you can buy anywhere in the world. I paid just £3,250 for this car, and it's been off the road for 14 years, but mechanically it's very solid. It was stored in, in, inside all those years, and uh, it's running very, very well. It comes with a 3.0-litre uh, straight 6. Now, there is different engines. You get a 2.8, a 3.2, a 5.0-litre, a 6.0-litre, V12 and then different variants along that. There's some special models that are quite um, quite rare and hard to come by. But the 300, look, it's it's one of the base. It's the, it is the base engine. But look, for what you're doing in this car, it's absolutely perfect. Like I even for driving it, uh, I feel 50 miles an hour, 55 is kind of thereabouts where you want to sit. Like it isn't a modern car, but at the same time, um, it's a very usable everyday. Classic. Um, the car only has 96,000 miles, uh, which is very, very little. Um, everything works, um, but it needs some cos cosmetic work. And lately, now that I'm only finding this, is the soft top has got very slow and stopped working, so I've ordered a new uh, pump, hydraulic pump, which is lo lo located in the boot. I believe that should fix the problem, um, but overall, it's quite a good car. Um, I believe these cars are are really, really going to start going going up in value, and I think this is just if you really want to get in on it, you get in on it now. Um, I'll give you a quick, quick walk walk around and show you the car in more detail, and then we'll go go for a drive and take it from from there. Just going to go for a quick walk walk around the car. Um, at present, I'm organising a few parts for for the vehicle to. Touch, touch it up. I need to replace this little plastic trim, the wiper, getting some bodywork done underneath the rear rear bumper, and it's going to go go for a full re respray. Um, it's got four sets of matching Dunlop tyres all the way around. Now they are about 14 years old, so they will need replaced. But when you can see in matching matching uh, tyres, you know a vehicle as such has been well cared cared for by its previous owner. Um, Overall, like it is in good con condition for the money I paid for it. There's not a bit of rust on the vehicle anywhere. Um, it's working, like it's driving very, very well. Um, but it will be perfect by the time I am finished with it. I'll just show you a quick glance on the inside. As you can see, it's lovely beige leather, electric seats. Now, one fault I do notice, well, it's not really a fault, but I don't understand. This being an SL, which is a top of the range car of the time in 1991. I do not understand why it doesn't come standard with air, air conditioning. Usually you would say you'd use a convertible in the summer, and in the summer it usually being warm. But you might be on motorways or whatnot, driving down to your holiday home, through, through Europe, through, through Spain, and you would want air conditioning. So I do not understand for the life of me why it doesn't have air conditioning. I was quite shocked actually when I seen that, I just thought it was a bit strange. Um, it has no rear seats, but you couldn't really fit anyone in there anyways um, there's two storage things underneath that and there's just some parts I'm um, giving it a full um, gearbox service and I already give it, give it a full service because it hasn't been serviced in many 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 years um, overall it's just a very clean usable car I'll go around to the other side as you can see I don't know what happened here at the front but the bonnet is a different color so clearly it was changed I say it could have been sun faded and they switched over to a different bonnet, but it was never crashed, and all the struts, struts at the front show show that. As you can see here now, it comes with original Mercedes uh, carpet, electric seats. Like overall, it was a very well put together car for the uh, time. Let's give her a quick start of now. Very clean, tidy, tidy example. 
Now, we're going for a quick drive and you can tell me what, what you think.